This is my 2014 Ford Focus ST. I'm going to show you how to get into the diagnostic screens of the display in the middle of the gauges. Uh, you can do this on any Ford uh, vehicle with one of these displays there. Um, uh, my uh, Ford Escape also has the same screens. Um, this car has a push button start. Uh, the Escape does not. Uh, the same uh, procedure works over there. Um, uh, all you have to do, on, on the escape that is, all you have to do is hold down the OK button on the left D-pad here and then start up the car. I'm actually going to start it up, but you don't actually have to do that. You can leave the car off to do this. Now you just keep on holding in that OK button on the left D-pad and then after the screen starts up here, it should actually go into test mode. And there we go, test mode. I'm going to let go of the OK button. And what you can do from this mode is, let me turn off the uh, AC here. What you can do from this test mode is you can actually go through a whole bunch of screens that tell you some diagnostic uh, things about the, uh, the computer. Uh, if you hold, if you press down on the D-pad, you can scroll uh, down and you can scroll up as well to go, uh, go to the various different uh, screens that are available here. First one's a gauge sweep, and we have various screens to show if you have dead pixels or not. An LED test that turns on all the uh, lights in the dashboard. A chime test that will actually uh, go through all the various chimes. Uh, if you hit left and right on the D-pad on the eco mode thing here, you can actually see various uh, scores for uh, how well you're driving. I assume that these uh, have some relationship to the uh, leafs that you get in um, in the dashboard display to show how uh, how well you're driving uh, for uh, fuel consumption. Some firmware numbers and uh, manufacturer. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, if you had DTCs, you could actually read out your DTCs here and see if you had any uh, engine troubles. Uh, very useful. You don't have to go to AutoZone to get your, uh, your DTCs read. You can actually do it right from the, from the car computer. Uh, we're not actually moving here, so the speedo gauge isn't going to show that we're, uh, uh, that we're moving, but if we were, you could see that uh, going up and down. Uh, tachometer, you can see that it's actually uh, reading in real time there. It's pretty cool. Odometer, that's in kilometers. Uh, and that's the, uh, the fuel percentage. I assume that's left, but uh, um, I'm not sure what that means. It's, it's in hexadecimal, so I don't know what the upper range of that is. Uh, fuel flow, you can actually see that go up and down as I uh, hit the gas. It probably uses that to calculate uh, uh, miles per gallon. Uh, engine temperature. Battery voltage. Distance to empty, uh, that's probably again in kilometers. Uh, not sure what AFE and RAFE are. They don't seem to change when I hit the gas. AFE bias. Uh, A to D inputs, you can actually scroll through all of the inputs, but without actually knowing what these are, there's not much uh, meaning to this. And we're back to gauge speed. And uh, that's the way you get into test mode on the on, uh, modern uh, Fords. Um, if, uh, it, basically, if you need to read out your DTCs, it's a great way of doing that. Um, and uh, that's basically mostly what it's uh, useful for. If you want to have uh, the miles per hour and digital up on your dash as you're uh, driving, that's pretty cool too. Uh, but you can't view anything else while you're doing it. So. Anyway, uh, to get out of this, all you have to do is turn the car off, and the next time you start up the car, you'll be back in the regular mode of the uh, computer. Alright, thanks for watching.